Hey YouTube, Joe the Gap Reviewer here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some breaking news. Today, September 1st, Apple released a whole new line of iPods. They also released iTunes 10, and they also released some other statistics that I thought you'd like to know about. So I'm going to start by telling you about the new iPod Touch. Uh, in front of you, you see a uh, slideshow of some images from the new iPod Touch. This new iPod Touch has a Retina display, 4x resolution. It also has an A4 chip processor, the same that you can find in the iPhone 4. It also has a front-facing and rear-facing camera. The rear is an HD video cam, and the front-facing camera and rear-facing camera both support FaceTime, which is very popular and currently was only for the iPhone 4 devices. Uh, Apple also released the new iPod Shuffle. It's now a bottomless iPod Shuffle, and according to Jobs, quote, people miss the buttons, end quote. Uh, today, they're back to the old square design, but it still has spoken playlist names, bigger buttons, uh, voiceover controls, and a whole bunch of other cool new nifty updates to the shuffle. Uh, iPod Nano information. The new iPod Nano has no control dial. Instead, it is a multi-touch screen, and the thing is smaller, uh, about the size of a wheat thin with a clip on the back. Uh, what's cool is that if you clip the new Score Nano onto your sleeve or something upside down and you do a two finger twist on the screen, it will reorient the image. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you a picture of the Nano and the Shuffle. We are currently on Apple.com and here's pricing though for the iPod Touch. 8 gig, 230, 32 gig, 300, and 64 gig, $400. So definitely more pricey than before. So let me go ahead right now and I will get you some pictures of the new Nano and Shuffle. Here we have the new iPod Shuffle. The perfect mix. And about voiceover, you press the new voiceover button to hear the song, title, playlist name, or battery status. It basically talks to you now through your headphones. And pricing for the new iPod Shuffle is $50. You can read all this information that you see on your screen over at Apple.com. Now let's take a look at the new iPod Nano. Here we have the new iPod Nano. I mean, this thing looks, I mean, it looks really cool. I'd consider picking one up, but I'm really going to get the new iPod Touch before I would get this. As you know, it's a, it's a little pricey. Uh, the 8 gig new iPod Nano is $150 and the 16 gig is $180. Uh, if I got one, it'd probably be just for the sake of doing uh, YouTube videos with it. And for using it, you know, could, it would make a good gift to uh, someone. Uh, iTunes. Apple released uh, iTunes 10. So I'll just click their iTunes tab here on the website. As you can see, it has a nice new icon, uh, blue, <laughs> which personally I'm not a fan of blue. I have a lot of blue icons already, but basically uh, it's free for Mac and PC. You can download it straight from the website. It also now has iTunes Ping, which is something new to re they released today. Uh, you can follow artists and friends, so it's basically like a uh, Twitter and iTunes type of thing. but not Twitter. Uh, you can check out profiles and recent activity of your friends and artists and you can learn about concerts and events near you. It's basically a way that they're making iTunes more social. I do have some more information that I put in a little note here. Let me open that up and let me find it. So it's called Ping like I said and it's basically a social network for music. Uh, it's Twitter like basically already said that and it's a social media sharing service um already covered the new logo and some stats that just are not related to iTunes actually wait <laughs> they kind of are but uh 230 new iPhones iPods and iPads are activated per day 275 million iPods have been sold since they officially came out and new designs for the iPods um overall have gotten good feedback.
They also released the new Apple uh, TV. It's still Apple TV, no iTV. Let me go ahead and find that. It should be under iPod. Yep, here we have the new Apple TV. Looking good. I don't think I'll get one anytime soon. Uh, the Apple TV has been redesigned to be small in size, but big on entertainment. You can run from the largest selection of HD videos, uh, many available the same day to come out on DVD. Watch Netflix titles instantly, rent TV shows commercial free in HD, and stream photos and music from your computer to your widescreen TV. Best of all, the Apple TV is just a hundred bucks. So once again, you can read all this information on Apple.com. Overall, guys, I'm pretty impressed. I'm covering this because it kind of relates to applications, um, in a way, because the applications will be on these new devices. Um, I'll probably start, like I said, by getting the new iPod Touch. Probably, I don't know, 32 gigs, a little bit pricey, but I'll probably be saving up for that one. Hopefully, I'll be able to do an unboxing when I get it, but depending on when I get it, I probably won't even bother because it'll be hundreds already out on YouTube. But guys, this is basically the news of what happened today. Uh, pretty big news. Um, in the comments, let me know if you're going to get any of these new products, what you think of them. If you think Apple made the right move, uh, if you think they didn't on some of their products. Uh, like always, feel free to please rate, like, comment, and subscribe to me here on YouTube. Also, 5 star rating is uh, preferred. Um, one other thing, for you iPad users, iOS 4.2 is coming out, and 4.1. Just click the little iPad tab, and it should be on here about the new iPad, iOS. No, they didn't uh, put it on the website, but I heard it in the keynote, which I did watch, for those of you wondering. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in a later video. And that video will actually be coming tomorrow. Hopefully I can actually get it out because I left my iPod in my friend's car. So I should get it back. Actually, I will get it back tomorrow now that I think about it. Uh, guaranteed because I'm going over to his house. I'll grab it. And I'll be home and I will shoot another app review. So thanks guys for watching, like I said. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Peace.